Hello Python programmers, this is AK. In this video, I'm going to create one data analytics web application using Python and Streamlit as a supporting libraries. Why I selected Streamlit means Streamlit library is very beginner friendly and it is easy and free to deploy your application on their Streamlit platform. But in this video, I'm not going to deploy my web application into Streamlit or Heroku kind of platforms. Instead of those deployment platforms, I'm going to use Azure platform for my app deployment. In this video, I will teach you how to create this data analytics app in Streamlit. In the next video, I will show you how to process the deployments in Azure. I choose Azure because of its popularity and wide range of functionality. By learning Azure Cloud is always an advantage for you. In the previous video, I explained why we need to learn cloud services in data science. Suppose if you are not aware about the cloud, then please watch my previous video. Okay. If you want to learn more about data science, I dedicated a separate playlist for data science videos from beginner to intermediate level of data science learning. This playlist is completely enough to understand the baseline statistics and algorithms in data science. So keep follow that playlist. I will upload weekly one video related to data science tech. And if you want to support me, then click the like button and subscribe to show your support. Okay, so let's get started. First of all, for creating this data analytics application, you need some data. For collecting the data sets, I used Kaggle platform to, to download the required data sets. The main skill required for creating a data analytics application is you need to think very logically while writing the code. And you must need some mathematic concept to collect some underlying insights from the data set. Collecting the insights from the data is always dependent on your data set. If your data set has more number of complicated features, then you should implement statistics a little bit hard to pull the insights from the data set. In this use case, I have multiple data sets. It represents IPL data. Generally, if you are watching cricket, then this project is very interesting to you. And if you are a fan of cricket, you can easily understand the concepts that I mentioned in this video. For those people who are not uh, much aware about cricket, then this video is a little bit complicated to understand because, because we are going to use some uh, game related metrics here to filter out some uh, data. If you are not aware about the game metrics, you can't able to understand the things. Okay, so let's see how our data looks like. For this video, I have three data sets. The first data set represents the IPL matches and its features such as teams, toss, toss decisions took by captains, result of each and every match from 2008 to 2019 and venues of each game. I recommend you to go through the data sets while watching this video. Otherwise, you can't well connect it to this video. And the second data set represents the top 100 batsmen who played in IPL. Additionally, this data set contains some more extra batsman features like average, strike rate and high score etc same like i have another data set which contains the bowlers data and if you want the data set i will provide the link in the description you can download and check what are the features are present in the data set okay so now let's write some code first you need to install some libraries for this project you have to install streamlit and plotly separately the pandas library comes with default python installation So let's import those libraries. First, we are going to collect the insights from the batsman data set. So I write code first and then I will explain the things to you because it is very easy for me to explain the things if I do like this. Okay, so look at this. It is our entire code for collecting the insights from the batsman data set. In the first line of code, I read the data set and the next line, I set the titles for my project. And then I wrote one simple logic here. This logic represents we already had 100 top batsmen in the IPL. Among them, we have to select the best batsman based on their runs. The logic is I selected the top five batters based on the criteria of minimum 300 runs. So the players who scored 300 runs are potentially eligible for the top five batsman list. So this is a simple logic I wrote here. The next logic is I ranked the batsman based on the two important criteria. Here I used the plotly visualization for representing my insights. So once we finished all the logics, I will show you how exactly our final outcome looks like. Okay. For ranking the best batsman among top 100, here I took two important criteria. The first one is the strike rate and second one is the average. So based on these factors, I'm going to rank the best batsman in IPL. These are the logic that I included in the script. So let's run this block of code to see our output. Uh, if you don't know about how to run the streamlit application, there is a command to run this application. You should type streamlit space run and you have to put the file name in the end of this command to execute this code so if you are not aware about the streamlit i will provide the documentation link in the description 
so you can check that documentation to understand the stream rate syntaxes okay see here this is our insights and the first graph clearly explains that which batsmen are very good at hitting boundaries and maintaining the strike rate and average in the sidebar of the graph shows the meter of strike rate so based on this we can able to see which batsmen have very good strike rate in the ipl i noticing the center part of the graph has very yellow line it clearly shows us this batsman andre russell has more strike rate than all other batsmen so look at the second graph here this graph is simply shows us which batsman has more runs uh, all over the ipl so these are our first two insights let's write some more code and pull more insights from the data sets so next i took the team's data set in the team's data set contains lot of features so among them i want to see which team has won the toss and select the bat first so this is the exact logic i conveyed here in python you can easily understand the logics of mine because the data set is not much complex here we don't need high end statistics logics to pull the insights from the data set but if you want to extract 100% insights from this data set you can use some statistics logics to get those hidden insights and same like i wrote for the logic here it represents the teams won the toss and they elected the ball first so this is the condition that i applied here so once you write the logic you have to connect your respective variable to the plotly function to get those visualizations I don't want to spend much time on explaining how to visualize the data and its syntaxes. Data visuals are very easy concept here. You have to more focus on learning how to build the logics and how to write the logics. In the next step, I want to see the overall toss wins by all the teams in IPL. For that, I created overall toss win variable here and I added the field toss and bat toss variables here. By adding these values, it will give you overall toss win count by all the teams. Okay. So next step, I wrote one more logic. It simply tells you which team has better win ratio. For calculating the win ratio of each and every IPL team, I created a variable called counts, and in this variable, I called the winner data frame from the data set. Further, I called one more built-in function from Python that is called as value counts. So it will simply count the value of winner data frame column. Okay. So this is the third logic in this section. Next logic is player of the match award. This logic is very simple and it is very easy to write because the data set provides the straightforward answer to it. So that's all about the team's data set. Like I already said, this video provides the baseline concept for data analytics project using Streamlit. And if you want to pull more insights, then you can do it. So next section is the bowlers section. Like we said, 3000 minimum runs criteria for the batsman, right? Same way here, I wrote one logic criteria which represents like among top 100 bowlers if the bowlers wants to enter into the top 5 list the, the minimum criteria is they must need to cross 50 wickets in ipl match so this is the basic criteria for each and every bowlers to make into top 5 list so this is the logic i set here uh, and the next logic is the bowlers kpis for the batsman we took two kpis uh, that is strike rate and average but for the bowlers i took two other kpis that are economy and wickets I just passed those two data frame values into Plotly, so it will give you the results. Uh, the final insight is which, which bowlers are leaking more runs. For writing this logic, I created one variable called bowler matches and in this variable I set the economic criteria as 8.50. If the bowler economic crosses more than 8.5 then he is considered as a bowler who leaking more runs. Okay, So this is the logic that I implemented here. So that's all about the entire code. Let's see how our end result looks like. You can see here, these are all the basic insights I took from this uh, three data set. But other than these insights, there are possible and potential insights could be available in this three data set. I will give you one task if you are really interested in this project. You can write some more code to collect more insights from these data sets. So once you write the logic of the code, then share your code in the command section. I will review your code. Okay, it will be very interesting to write the code on your own way. In the next video, I will try to deploy this web app in Azure cloud so you can easily understand the deployment concepts in Azure also. Okay, so that's all about this video. Thanks for watching and thank you. See you on next week.